Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. It's time for Radiance's February releases already and time's just flying. Like, I can't believe Radiance are into their third year already. That seems incredible. Um, we're still just rounding off year two, which has been outstanding again. I'm all here for whatever they're doing, to be honest. And let's dive into these announcements, which have just come out. I've not looked at as yet. Let's look at them together and see what they're at. So, first up, we have What Happened Was, which must be an American movie. We've got Nomad and My Heart is That Eternal Rose, Hong Kong, The Cat, which will be the German release, and Hokuriku Proxy War, which will be the Japanese release. It was teased on Twitter. Let's dive in and have a little look at these. What Happened Was, a film by The Tooth Fairy, <laughs> Tom Noonan, Let's see, Jackie and Michael are co-workers at a New York law firm who, after months of flirtation, agree to meet for a first date at Jackie's apartment. Their initially charged and playful interactions evolve into a long, dark night of the soul as the two would-be lovers get to know each other properly for the first time and discover that all may not be as it seems. Winner of the Sundance Festival Jury Prize, what happened was is a landmark work of American independent cinema anchored around two stunning performances presented an often hilarious, often bleak, but always excruciatingly honest exploration of dating in the big city. We've got a 4K restoration, uncompressed stereo PCM audio, interview with the director and producer, interview with star Karen Silius, a new interview with about the film with critic Charles Bramskill, trailer, English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, reversible sleeve, booklet, and is limited to 3,000 copies. And as usual, add all of the February releases and get 10% off, and it ends on December the 4th. I didn't realise Tom Noon had uh, created his own film. Uh, this sounds like a two-hander. I, I, I'm somewhat interested in this. Um, more than anything, it's out the 24th of February. Yeah. Curious. Curious about it. I'll definitely have a little look into that before it gets released. Next up, we have a double pack. We have Nomad and My Heart is That Eternal Rose. An icon of Hong Kong New Wave and mentor to Wong Kar Wai, Patrick Tam worked with the icons including Tony Leung, Leslie Chung, Kenny B and others in these two inimitable classics. In Nomad, two couples, equal parts rich and working class, bond and experience the frolics of youth. The arrival of a Red Army deserter brings violence and disruption, prompting incredible plot twists and inspired set pieces. My heart is that eternal rose finds Tam in a more familiar heroic bloodshed genre. A young couple are torn apart by a botched triad job that forces Rick to relocate to the Philippines and lap to become a gangster's mall. Six years later, they meet again, but their reunion reignites the danger that drove them apart. Stunningly shot by David Chung and Christopher Doyle, both films are newly restored and made available on Blu-ray for the first time. So you get a 4K restoration of Nomad, eh, the director's cut, a 2K restoration of My Heart is That Eternal Rose, and these are both premieres, interview with Tony Raines, Interview with Stanley Kwan, Assistant Director of Nomad. Interview with Producer of Nomad, Dennis Yu. Visual Essay on Patrick Tam by David Desser. Audio Commentary by Frank Jeng on My Heart is That Eternal Rose. Interview with Producer John Sham. Two episodes of CID directed by Tam, 49 minutes each. No idea what that is, but I'm interested in that. It's a great addition as an extra. I love when... It's not just the usual kind of stuff, it's something a little bit different, and that sounds like, um, yeah, interesting. New improved English subtitle translations, reversible sleeve, uh, limited edition booklet, and 3,000 copies of this. Yeah, both films sound really great. Um, whenever there's been a double pack or something with more than one film on it, outside a box set, it's always been something really interesting from Radiance. Both these films... Sound like something I'm interested in. And I'm wondering 
what other Patrick Tam films I've seen, if any, I'm going to have to look into that name because it seems familiar, but it's not at the forefront of my brain at the moment. Next up, we have The Cat, which is we It's weird how the, like, the human brain just works. Like, like looking at this one, I'm in. Look, at, there's something about this that speaks to me. I, I'm sure it's about robbery, theft, something or other, a thief. Um, this just looks like my kind of film, and that's just instantly on appearance of this. Two robbers hold up in a bank and its employees demanding three million marks for their ransom. The police plot to storm the bank, but are unaware that the robbers have an accomplice on the outside, anticipating their every move. Genre master Dominic Garaf specialised in crime films, and The Cat is one of his greatest. A height film of the highest order. It grabs you from its opening scenes and doesn't let go. Winner of the Best Direction at the German Film Awards, The Cat is an undiscovered treasure and Radiance Films is proud to present it in Blu-ray for the first time outside of Germany. That sounds wonderful. That sounds like the kind of movie I love. Um, And, you know, just for the visual aspect straight away, it, it jumped out at me. Reading about it, wow, cannot wait to see this one. We have a high-def digital transfer, newly created by Radiance Films and overseen by director Dominic Graff. Interview with the director, which is 62 minutes from 2024. So I've, I've never heard this director, so like getting uh, that kind of time spent with them should be interesting. Interview with the screenwriter, Christoph Fromm. Interview with producer, George Field. Scene select commentary by Dominic Graff, which is from 2024 as well new English subtitle translation, reversible sleeve, and limited edition to 3,000 copies. What a... This is exciting. This this sounds really exciting. This is... Uh, I can tell you right now... I, I mean, I've not got to the last movie as yet, but when the set comes in that I get these, I'm watching the cat immediately. Next up, we have Hokuriku Proxy War. Um, let's see, is it a Fukusaku? <laughs> um, loose cannon gangster Kawanda rebels when his two-timing boss forms an alliance with a major crime syndicate. The syndicate's main rival see Kawanda as their perfect proxy, but his furious temper quickly rubs him the wrong way, leaving Kawanda to face overwhelming forces. Fukusaku's final Yakuza film features some of the strongest women roles in his career, plus a raucous central performance from Hiroku Matsukata and support from the legendary Sonny Chiba. So it is a Kinji Fukusaku movie. Great! I mean, we must have almost everything out now in Blu-ray, which is fantastic. Uh, we've got high-def digital transfer, uncompressed mono PCM audio, interview with actress Yoko Takahashi, new interview with screenwriter Koji Takada, Yakuza film historian, Akiko Ito on the real-life Hokuriko Proxy War murder case. That'll be interesting. Uh, trailer, new improved English subtitle translation, reversible sleeve, limited edition booklet, and it's limited to 3,000 copies. Sounds great, and you know, Fukusaku, you know you're in capable hands there. And the Yakuza genre, yeah, great. He knows what he's doing. This will be another uh, easy one to throw on and just enjoy again all four movies if you order them up until the 4th of December you get 10% off if you order them all I would say the one as I mentioned at the time that jumps out to me is The Cat is the one that I really want to watch first but all these films sound interesting in their own way um, yeah what do you think of these announcements I again pleasantly surprised Radiance Radiance have uh, gained a lot of trust for myself and I know a lot of people out there as well. I'm just confident that even when they're announcing things that I don't know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. You know, when you look at The Cat and I think back to Man on a Roof, you know, these kind of films that almost forgotten that when I watch just are exactly the kind of things that I want. So yeah, another great batch of releases. I'd love to know your thoughts on which titles you're picking up. Are you going for the bundle? Let me know in the comment box below your thoughts on this month's releases. As always, 
there is more content up here where you can see more of my stuff. In the description box are links to Patreon, membership program, mandyfilm.com. Always, in which you can support. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.